Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my theatre-themed YouTube channel. My name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. I am a professional theatre critic and a content creator here on YouTube, and today we are going to be reacting together to a brand new musical theatre cast recording. Because, and if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will already know how excited I am about this, the brand new EP studio cast recording of the new musical 42 Balloons, written by Jack Godfrey, has just dropped. This is a show which is going to be having its first premiere production at the Lowry in Salford, that's in the north of the UK, in just a few weeks' time. It opens in April. I am so excited for this production. I cannot even tell you. I saw this as a, like a concert workshop production at the Vaudeville Theatre back in 2022 with some of the same cast members, but it's the score of the thing that makes it so exciting. Jack Godfrey is a really exciting writer. You might know his other new musical, Babies, which has just been announced to be coming to the Other Palace in London later this year, and that one has more of a early 2000s pop flavour, but this one is all about the 80s because that's when the show is is set. It follows the unbelievable true story of Larry Walters, a man who, for reasons of his own, decided one day, with the help of his girlfriend Carol, to fly over Los Angeles in a lawn chair suspended by 42 balloons. This took place in 1982, that's when the show is set, and so it pulls on all of these different 80s references. You can almost feel each different song being an homage to a different hit of the 80s. There's some, like, like Jim Steinman-esque Bat Out of Hell type moments. There's lots of musical theatre influence in there as well. I will go on record and say this is probably the most exciting new musical score I've heard since Six. Certainly the best pop musical theatre score I think we've had since Six, which is high, high praise and tells you just how excited I am about this show. Chances are many of you, especially if you're not from the UK, may not know about this musical already. Today is your chance to find out a little bit more. So this is the EP recording that they have just dropped with the cast who are going to be performing uh, the premiere run in Salford. This is not every song from the show, so we're jumping over a few plot points, but there will still be a couple of spoilers. You can read into some stuff. Nothing hefty, though. If you don't want to have any spoilers whatsoever for the show, maybe don't watch this reaction video right now. If you want to go and listen to the cast recording for yourself, I suggest you do that. This will not be the best place for you to hear it for yourself, because I'm going to be making noise and reacting. For some reason, that seems to surprise people every single time, despite the fact that it says reacting in the title. Here we go. So this is eight songs, about half an hour of music, and from here on in, this video is going to be completely unedited. You're going to get my organic reaction. If you're watching this as part of the live premiere, hello everybody in the live chat. Comment with your thoughts and feelings down below. But let's get into it. This is not my first time listening to the cast recording. I actually got to go to a launch party for this at a really cool 80s themed bar in London, and we had those like silent disco uh, headsets, so everyone was listening to the cast recording at the same time. I was there with the cast, with the producers, with the writers, very, very cool. But I was also in public, so I didn't get to react <laughs> as emotively as I planned to today. Here we go. This is the first time I've done one of these with earrings. Everything just about fits inside. Also, I'm dressed for the 80s, if that was not clear. Here we go. We are starting with the prologue which will tell you more about the show. Already very 80s, right? Cynthia, waves. I love a show that begins with a sort of a haunting message move the microphone away. I feel like I'm about to get quite loud. It's a positive message, but there's something a little bit sinister to it at the same time. That riff is no more to something, that guitar riff. I can't remember what. They're going to give you important exposition in this song, tell you a little bit more about the plot. I always think this is a bit video killed the radio star. Harmony. I love the little climb on the sky. The 
I love that line, and this one's even better. Self-aware. This is the video killed the radio star bit, I think. Wait for it. Good question. They're asking the question. They're going to answer the question with the show. Wait for it. Vocals. Love this vocal tone. I don't know all of these cast members yet, because I haven't seen the show yet. Is that ACDC, that riff? At this point, you're probably just a bit curious about the show. If you're not sold yet, the next song is going to do it. This is all build, this is all intrigue. But a pretty explosive opening. And so 80s. Good, that last fly, the lovely ascent. This is the wonderful Charlie McCullough. He is your leading man in the show. He is playing Larry Walters. I've always known it, really known it, but they'll never see. Up in the clear blue sky is where I'm Lovely voice, beautiful voice. He's on the Jesus Christ Superstar Tour either side of doing this show. You'll hear why later. Don't let it out, whatever you do. Cause someone will come along and try to take your dream. Beautiful orchestrations. It in your face. Wait for it. it. Like a, like a big balloon, big balloon. I love the editing on this. Here we go. Big balloon, big balloon. Lovely vocal arrangements. Suddenly Larry felt a flash in his mind to a memory of long before. He was barely 13, just a teenage kid. I love this goes up the octave. The that was down the octave the first time we heard that melody. That melody. And he saw something there in the cheap colored I was running on a treadmill to this just this morning. Woo! Woo! Yeah, up on the wall, something caught his eye. A cluster of balloons, a cluster of this is his backstory. This, I guess, is an I Want song. Do you want to fly? Larry, do you want to fly? I love easing up on that. This is a bit Jim Steinman-y, but... A song later on is much more. Am I still yelling? I'm going to turn this down. Vietnam is what we're talking about there, from what I remember. I can't remember plot-wise exactly what's happening at all these points. Around this, you get a lot more explanation of what's going on, but it's still a song through musical. Lovely modulation. That change of direction there. He's like, but wait, and that's why it modulates. Modulation with a reason, not just because it sounds great. You're about to fall in love with this song. Wait for it. You're going to find out why I love it. There's a math montage. of approximately 13 pounds. I love the math montage. And I'm so excited to see how this is going to be staged. Listen to this climbing. It 
was teasing at climbing. It's thinking about it. Beautiful vocal arrangement. Forty something. How good is this vocal? Charlie, phenomenal. And the acting performance he does in the show. Oh. Here we go. Take it up. That's giving alternate Jesus on the Jesus Christ Superstar tour, is it not? I love the echo. That, just a stupid dream, just a teenage dream, is giving me all revved up and no place to go from uh, Steinman. Oh, so good, right? So good. I love that song. This is a great comedy number. I love the backing vocals throughout. When your daughter meets a loser. That's a great laugh line. Carol is Larry's girlfriend. This is her mum. Well, it sounds like a substance abuser. Obviously, we've changed direction here a little bit. It's jazzy. It's a unique pick up line. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Natural Woman. Together. You make me feel like her. I love this vocal so much. Now she's talking balloons and a long chair. And the accent work. So I sit her down. Her down. So you've got a big heart when you find. I love the whispered quality as well. In somebody's story, you can take a dream and really make a dream shine. So good. Just don't lose yourself in somebody's story. Sure, this is very sage advice as well. Just don't Backing vocals. No, no. But spaceman comes over one day. Uh oh. And says, I wanna fly from your backyard. What's she talking about? I said, You thought you had a strange relationship with your in-laws. There's no way I don't wanna be the one who's gonna cause him to Is that a little bit of a six knot? I don't know. Listen. I love that it goes up. I love that line. And I love that the backing vocal is don't commit cry, yeah, I'm. Fun, right? Momentum. Building. Drama. She's gonna call the police. Lovely. Did she tell him to come here tonight? Well, if that's what she wants, then all right. Maybe this is good because it's it gives us this little bit of tension, but there's still a niceness to it. Because she's very indifferent to the whole thing, but she loves her daughter. Even if it's not personally what 
I love that this show gives us the space to explore all of the adjacent characters as well. What else can I do? I'm part of this story. In the version I saw, there is a song as well about Carol and Larry meeting, which I assume is still in the show. But like I said, we're skipping over bits. This is only a selection of the songs from the show. That's a beautiful place note, by the way. With the vibrato on the end. Lovely work. Very excited to see that. And to see how they're going to stage the backing vocalists. Ron Richmond was minding his own business There's a bunch he a of influences here. Larry Introducing in another character. Hello, my friend. You've reached the phone of a one You'd be forgiven for thinking this sounds a bit Hamilton-y. Hey, and I don't think all rap and musicals buddy, sounds like Hamilton, but Larry, this does. Not bad. Look, In a nice homage way. I also get a little bit of Sweet Home Alabama in this bit. Wait for it. Again, I love the vocal arrangements. That and the instrumentation is what makes it sound like it's 1982, which is the name of this song. That's a direct Fresh Prince of Bel Air reference. Inside, he finds his old friend Larry with his girlfriend Carol and her mom. There's maps and sketches all round the spot. Sort of looking like a bank heist criminal plot. What? Ron's head is spinning. He's about to walk. But before he can, I love this expressive delivery. Larry holds up a plan of an aircraft. And then this change of pace. As he tells them, because Larry has this different sort of dreamy quality. He's not as direct. He was listening out just He's not as down to earth. I love this bit. That is the bit that sounds Hamilton-y. Not to mention in As is this next like bit. Armstrong yes. plus crack cocaine. Look, I know it sounds crazy. If you really want to fly, we can go to LAX and hop on a plane, but weather balloons? No, Ron, I thought you'd understand. Bam, when I come, man, I thought bam, you had a business bam, plan. Bam, this bam, is the plan. Bam, We've got a budget bam, and a bam, deadline. Bam, deadline. Bam, Never mind. Think of the headline. Body found attached I love it, to launch. Yeah. wear a parachute. Larry, I don't care, man. Think. Just think about what you've got. Your life is worth more than a stupid plot. You want it's not? Call me son one more time. The only person I know who has a video camera. I'm sorry, what? That line makes sense in the 80s, but it does still sound a little bit funny to me. It's like, you're the only person I know who owns a video camera. And yet, 1982? Sure. <gasps> Did you feel that? It was like an earthquake in my head. So if you've got a dream, we're reprising that's melody. And this is the moment where the whole show and expands. And it goes from being about Larry's story and the people around him to being about the nature of aspiration. I love that. Horses. You'll find out why. Suddenly, Ron is 10 years old and staring at a movie screen. Listen to this. With his eyes all wide, watching five bad These notes in the guitar are climbing. Queen. When the lights went up and the credits rolled all the way back You're going to hear a lot of climbing Ryan, scales in this. Told his parents all about how he was going to be a cameraman. A climbing melody is used throughout the show. Very much in a song you're not going to hear. But I think... It comes in whenever we talk about dreams, because it's this idea of ascending, flying into the air, which is what Larry wants to do. Oh, it's so fun. I don't know why I'm drumming when it's clearly a guitar. It's impossible to forget what year the show is set in. Good vocal. Oh, so good. So good. That's a good, like, road trip. Musical theatre cast recording. Listen. Change of pace now. 
this, I can't figure out, I can't pin down what this reminds me of. This is Evelyn Hoskins, who is playing Carol, who also gives wonderful performance in this show. I've seen her in lots of things on stage. This may be my favorite. I won't wait anymore. Let me open this door. Carol, listen. Cause what's more, it feels like the Lovely modulation there. Together. She's I'm lifting. Sorry. He's I trying to interrupt. She's like, no, no. she's reaffirming. So it lifts. I love this. And it all strips back. Everything I thought I knew with something There's some beautiful lyrics in this show about dreams and these impossible things that we want. I could be foolish, I could be clueless, stupid and small. Great. I've got something as crazy as this. I love the way she sings crazy there. I love it so much. Hit me up in the comments, what does this remind you of? Another modulation. That, that specifically reminds me of Dear Evan Hansen, actually, Only Us. The modulation when he goes, I never thought you would find your own reason to want me. Whatever. Harmony. Isn't that harmony delicious? Suburbia! Can you see my torch? Is this working for anyone? Beautiful harmonies. Maybe they should. Maybe watch as we Lovely. That reminds me of the tiniest bit of He's My Boy from Jamie. Evelyn Hoskins. Underrated vocal queen. These two together, these voices. It's because they're both so damn expressive. It's both, there's so much emotion in their voices. That's what makes them great in this show. Coming back in. Building. You know it's getting big. There are moments lyrically that remind me of songs like Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, Starship. But this is 3-4. This one I'm really interested to see how they stage it. I don't know, I'm seeing like lyrical, interpretive dance. End of Moulin Rouge Act 1. Clouds, stars. There are a lot of serious questions about how they stage this show because of things that happen in it, so I'm so intrigued. Okay, next up. You're gonna love this song. Oh my gosh. Oh my! What the? Son of a Damn, what? what? Sir, we've got a situation. I'm receiving confirmation of illegal aviation over LAX. What you say? Check the radar data. I don't want to instigate a crisis, but sooner or later, someone ought to come fast. Hey, I'm approaching a commotion in San Pedro by the ocean. I should be commenting on this, but frozen for some I just want to lip sync. Here we go. I've been singing this for two years. Every time Aaron says 42 balloons, I sing the echo that you're about to hear. This is a great vocal. Here we go. I love it so much. Man in a chair in the air. No, I'm not kidding. What? I'm telling you I'm seeing. Well, I think a human being, possibly a European, maybe even an alien. Listen up, I found his frequency. I'm gonna try to speak and see if he'll reply to me. Can we just get him safely down? Okay. I'm making a recording, a report, and more importantly, can someone tell me why he's got a gun? No, I don't know. I 
know why. The answer is actually quite funny. Is this not great? Oh, it sounds so huge. I have nothing to add to this. I'm pretty sure that was Jordan Broach. At all points during the show, it retains that sense of humour. And I love it for that. Listen. Listen to the guitar notes. Up again. It's a climbing melody. This ascending scale. So much of that. Pulse is still there. Ah, oh, I get so excited by that song. I'm so sorry. I got, there was barely any professional commentary. We've skipped a song. Something's gone wrong. Hold on. We've skipped one. We've skipped one. Hold everything. Hold everything. Oh. I mean, this is a good moment to just take a breath. How's everybody doing? Just checking in with you all. Are you enjoying 42 Balloons? Isn't it fun? So 80s. So dynamic. Um, and like, I'm, I'm pulling out all of these references and I'm talking about all of the different things that I'm noticing nods to, because if you're trying to do something like of that era and that's retro and throwback, you have to reference specific things um, so that it feels like emblematic and familiar of that era. But it's also, I think, a really unique kind of blend of musical theater. I don't know of many other shows that sound like this. It's really exciting. And I love that as we enter this like contemporary pop meets musical theater sound with shows like six and everybody's talking about jamie and a lot of other new stuff at the moment that it doesn't just have to be modern pop that we can do this 80s inspired thing. it's really cool it's really cool if you're getting intrigued about this story uh, then you can go and book tickets to go see it at the salford lowry um or you can just wait for its eventual ascendancy because i have such faith in the show i think it's going it's going places i think it's going places um, and I just love this score. Two more songs to go. The next one is called Lawn Chair Larry. This is where we get tension, conflict, consequence. There's that same climbing melody, but it gets interrupted by reality. What if we can sell... Larry? What? Is that legal? No, I, that line. I mean, uh, what if there are people out there this is who something. might be interested in hearing the story of Larry's There's life? another musical that does this. And what if those but origi I mean, originally it's Les Mis, I guess this whole like, it. I'm going to tell you something, but I'm going to say on the same note what I do, and they make fun of it in something rotten. Somebody out there who might be interested, right? Maybe we can monetize the guy who conquered the sky, sell the story to the press. So much momentum in this score. This, I just picked up this morning what this is. Damn, bam, bam. It's very Eye of the Tiger, Survivor. I love that the way they're singing this is kind of like faux cool. They're like, let us sell you this story. You'll hear it in a second. Drama. I love that. I love the way she sings stuff. The blend of those voices are nothing at all. So good. Here we go. This is also a great way of selling the musical 42 Balloons to people who don't know about it. I love that. I love that rhythm. Get 
get in touch with your dad. I only just heard that lyric. Introspective, personal, real, honest. And then we have. Wait, not yet. When we're together, what can't we do? Uh, guys? Then we get. I believe this is David Letterman, I think. Launch here, Larry. I would be honored if you would come on my little show. But doesn't it sound creepy? There's reasons for that. And you have to go see the whole show if you want to find out more. Pay the standard fee, we'll fly you out for free. Come to New York and we'll talk about it all on TV. Launch air, Larry, buddy, we're all in. Give us a call when you are ready to go. Mysterious. Well, shall we do it? Watch that shit. Go to New York. Ready. We'll go to NYC. I think that was a much we'll we'll I'm very overwhelmed right now. Oh yeah, because Letterman was in a different case. Oh, okay, one more song. I'm going to pause just briefly before I play it to you, uh, just to let you know. So this story around this song. I only just recently found out because I was chatting to Jack Godfrey, the composer, the brilliantly talented composer behind this show. Everything you're hearing, he wrote. Incredible. This was the first song he wrote for the show. I had no idea. But when we saw the concert at the Vaudeville in 2022, I was already sold on the show at this point. I was already like, this is great. I'm loving this. I'm invested because of the narrative and because of the music, because it was just so fantastic. When this song happens, this is in Act 2, everything has been chronological, what you've been hearing. Uh, this is not the last song in the show, but this is a moment in Act 2. I turned to Aaron, my just jaw was hanging open. This is something that only happens once or twice a year where I'm like, I've just heard, we've just heard an amazing musical theatre song for the first time. This does not happen often, and I was like, oh... That's the song. And we'd already, like, gone through Act 1 thinking, oh, that's the song. And then the start of Act 2 with the 42 balloons and a lawn chair. We were like, oh, no, that's the song. And then I was like, oh, no, it's this one. This is a song called Helium. Larry starts walking away, says he needs some air. This is the brilliant Evelyn Hoskins. Carol says you get back here, Larry. You're not going anywhere at this time of night. And then he's out of sight. She will break your heart in two. Carol looks out at the street as the sky turns gray. I know all these words. I've listened to this dozens of times. They dropped this before the EP. Mom. I love the little she crack there on mom. She'd say it was all so right. It was all so right. Here we go. Listen carefully to this. But it wasn't meant to be like this. We weren't supposed to be like That's this. giving no, the song Bat Out of Hell, Jim Steinman. Oh, and that's what come. I think one of the bigger influences on this song is. And there's a man in the sky with a look in his Pull us right back. King of the whole, wide world. whole wide world is the lyric there. Woman down here with a heart full of fear and she's shaking like a little girl. The other lyrics are more direct and descriptive. This song talks in metaphor, which is also very Jim Steinman. And the song Bad Out of Hell specifically. All these like howling at the moon and the blood and all that stuff. Somebody put you up there, Larry did Now we're a bit resentful. I guess that you just don't care, Larry. It's gonna build and build and build. You remember how that first chorus pulled everything back? This next one's not going to do that. But it wasn't meant to be like this. We weren't supposed to be like this. No, how did it come to this? Backing vocals. Oh, Carol, is it all on you? Give it to us. And there's a man in the sky with a look in his eye like he's the king of the goddamn world. Not whole wide world anymore. She's mad. mad because she's upset and we still pull it back for that it's so perfect is 
Is this not a great musical theatre solo song? So many auditions are going to be this song. <laughs> but it wasn't meant to be you know where like this is going. This. We weren't supposed to be Take like us home, Evie. You are gonna marry the man. Start a brand new life and watch the next ten years fly by. Now you're just a woman who gave a little too much to a man who flew a little too high. Oh, it's so good. The vocal is so good. The song is so good. Beautiful, lovely little melody there. And then it's gonna fully break your heart. Sometimes I wonder if I should have joined you up there. 84 balloons, Larry, and a slightly larger chair, and then you'd see it was you and me. That makes me emotional every single time I hear it. God help me when I go see this show with staging and presumably balloons. The whole song she's been singing about nothing but helium lifting you up and then she's singing and it was me. Because it was, because it was. Oh, when you know the context of this story. Oh my gosh. And that devastatingly is the end. That is not the end of the show, but that is all that they are giving you with this little preview in the studio cast recording. Is that not such a fun and dynamic and just exciting musical theatre score? I love it so much. There are other great songs that you didn't get to hear on that. To hear those, you're gonna have to wait for a full cast recording or go see the production at the Salford Lowry. I am thrilled that this is getting produced. I cannot wait. I love everything about it. Go and check it out if you are at all local to the north of England or willing to travel. Go and see 42 Balloons at the Salford Lowry. Uh, but that has been me vibing and jamming to the cast recording. I, pull, I was too overwhelmed to make lots of like smart and sensible inferences. Um, but comment all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Pop them in the live chat. Uh, which number was your favorite? Go and listen to it again. Listen to it in the car. There are great like driving songs in there. There are like great musical theater solo songs, by the way. Go and like practice Big Balloon. Go and practice Helium with your singing teachers. Go put those in your audition rep. Um, and also Treadmill. Those of you who have musical theater running playlists, um, uh, there's a couple. Big Balloon is good for this once it gets into it. Um, but really it's 42 balloons and a lawn chair is so good. I up the speed on the treadmill when I'm running to an almost dangerous extent when that song comes on because it just gets me so, so excited. I hope that you have enjoyed 42 balloons today as much as I have. Thank you for joining me for this live reaction. I will see you for another very, very soon. Comment down below with which cast recordings you want me to react to here on my channel next. Make sure you're subscribed and I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my God, hey. Thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe. <laughs>